Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find quad wings indulgence and bitter quad wing powder. Now Xenoblade 3 is still a relatively new game. So searching for monster locations, collectible locations, or even where to get materials can still be difficult if not impossible to find. So hopefully you'll find this video helpful or informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned there might be unintended spoilers, so be mindful and proceed at your own risk. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you would like to see as well. If you know any other locations where you can find these particular mobs, please share. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content, or just check out my Let's Play which is included in the description, description below. Now let's get started. For quad wing indulgence and bear quad wing, you can definitely find them here. I'm going to show you the map first before I show you the mob. You can find them in the A tier region. So you will get to this location as you progress through the main story. You'll definitely unlock a place, I believe it's right here, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, I'm just trying to make sure. Yeah, I believe so. So you unlock a rest spot here, and then you go through this channel here. And then there should be a main story progress event right there, I believe. Is this it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right here. And then to get to this location, you need to go up through this hill here. You can't go up here just yet. So whenever you get here naturally, you won't be allowed to come up here. You would have to come here later into the game so you you won't get access into this area until later but you won't need quad wing indulgence until you have access to this area anyways so once you have it you can come up here and then all the quad wings are going to be in this circle area right here there's going to be a single quad wing i believe right here if i'm not mistaken if not he's like right somewhere over here not entirely sure where but he's like somewhere over here but there's only just one but there's a bunch of them over here. There's even an elite monster quad wing over here. So they're all in this tiny little circle here. And I'll show you right now. Here you go. Quad wings are owls with four wings. Literally why they're called quad wings. This one particularly will spawn items as you see here. And these are the indulgences. So you can just let him spawn all his items here and then just destroy him. <laughs> there you go. So, if you, if you spawn from a different region and then come to this region particularly, what I mean by that is if you go from one region back to the A tier region, this particular quad wing will do the exact same motion all the time. So if you want to quickly get quad wing indulgences you can do this but I've never seen him drop anything higher than a normal common rarity so maybe you just have to try killing them for something uh, like for the legendary I have not gotten a legendary bitter quad wing powder or quad wing indulgence yet but you can get boosters with food that gives you 30% drop rate so maybe that will help or you can try bursting them but so far I haven't had any luck with the legendary tiers for bitter quad wing powder and indulgences but they do drop they're just very rare they also drop delicate bell and some other materials as well i'm not entirely sure if that's needed or required but i do want to at least disclose that I'm the girl with the as for the rest of the quad wings they will be on the outskirts of this area so there's gonna be another quad wing right here if you want to take a look at them they look like owls but with four wings. That's why they're called quad wings. If I can zoom out, that's annoying. There we go. There's one right there. There's a elite monster over here. There's some more quad there's a quad wing right there as well. And then there should be one more, I believe. Not wrong. Nope, that's that's all. There's one right there as well, but I believe I already showed you that one. And then the one over the cliff, the one I was talking about, is this one right here. So it's that one. And let me see if I can show it on the map. So it is. It's like right here. 
So at least you have access to one quad wing when you get to the this this whatever this path is called. I, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but I do recommend you killing the lapdog beast because it gives you a nice little respawn point. So whenever you go from one region back to another, this is a nice little area you can spawn and quickly just kill all the quad wings you want. All right, folks, um, that's all I have. But before I do, I just want to let you know, farming these quad wings are a little easier than some mobs. And this is one of the areas that you can get quad wings early in the game. I don't really see quad wings later on in the game, so they are quite rare. I think the next time I see a quad wing is maybe level 50 or 60 or 70. So this is definitely a place I would recommend farming up for some of the legendary tier quad wings unless you just have a higher level that you can go fight them with. But once you're done killing all the quad wings, I recommend just maybe jumping off the cliff like that. It makes it relatively easy. Or you can just select a animal here, mob, press up, and have them deplete your HP to zero. Once your HP is depleted to zero, you will respawn to the nearest campsite or the previous campsite you were at or the last known landmark you visit visited. So that will happen if, the, if they kill you. And then once that happens, you can come back to this area and all the mobs will be reset. Also, they can respawn naturally, but it does take some time. The easiest way I found is just finding some way to kill yourself. Maybe just jumping off this cliff is probably the easiest. Or going from one region and back to the back to here, which is why having that spawn point for that UM tombstone for the lapdog beast is also a good place because you can start to skip traveling to named graves in the later on in the game. So that's very useful. All right, hopefully you found that information helpful, and let me know what other Xenoblade 3 content you are all interested in seeing, and be sure to follow me for more Xenoblade 3 content I do post daily, and I'll see you all in the next one.